Mr. President, my name is Renee Crooker, and this bonus could not have come at a better time in my life and my family's life. Um, my daughter, Erica, uh, was diagnosed with double viral pneumonia, and she was put into a medically induced coma and was on a ventilator for two and a half month, two and a half years, sorry, two and a half weeks. And uh, the, college, the college money that was passed on to us helped me get to her bedside. She was out of the country. And so I'm just very thankful that I got to be there and be with her. And um, again, I can't thank the college enough, Dr. Davis enough, and you enough. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Thank you. Mr. President, my name is Bonnie Brazil, and I work in the cafeteria at College of the Ozark alongside the hardworking students. And I am very grateful for the bonus when the college gave it to us. And I put mine in savings for my retirement. And I want to thank you, Mr. President, and God bless you. That's very nice. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Thank you both. That's good. Good afternoon, Mr. President, and thank you for taking the time to visit with us today. Uh, my name is Brian Cook, and I'm President and CEO of Central Bank Group, a $13 billion total asset bank holding company. Uh, we employ over 2,500 people across four states. Because of the tax reform, we were able to give a $1,000 bonus to each full-time and a $500 bonus to each part-time employee. We felt it fully appropriate and reasonable to share the income from the tax cut with those hardworking people at the central bank who really helped earn it. That action has generated more positive and appreciative employee responses, texts, letters than almost any action we have ever taken for our employees. Thank you, Mr. President, for your strong leadership to get this much needed tax reform accomplished. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Thank you very much. Great.